everyone, this is Hanana West, President of Corfita Consulting. I'm interested to learn how home business owners. In, in this book, Melissa shares her experience. You could do and ask them about to confront your inner barriers to career development. Ties his day using only one tool. Talk about the three components that we usually mess with strategies to increase the read the whole story at Corporate Magazine. Hi, I'm Hanan Awad. Today in Ask Corporita, I will answer a question that I received personally from uh, a lady I was coaching. She was asking why do smart people like her, she's an engineer, underperform? Before answering that question, I started to ask her other questions to understand exactly um, uh, the situation and the case. So I asked her questions about her knowledge, her skills, and we determined that it's not due to lack of knowledge or skill. So why smart people like her underperform? There are several reasons why smart people and knowledgeable people underperform when it comes to work. One of them is prioritizing everything. So when everything in our lives is a priority, we are on uh, a rush mode all the time. We want to tend to uh, uh, so many things in, in our lives and we spread ourselves too thin. This also goes hand in hand with saying yes to everything and over committing yourself. Another reason why smart people underperform is information overload. So there are many researches and many studies that determine that we are bombarded with many 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 pieces of information on daily basis and our mind most of the time is single focus and so we, our mind tends to that piece of information and switch to another piece of information and another piece of information Try to control this information overload by turning off notifications. You don't need to uh, learn all these notifications from Facebook, from social media, from your email. Determine certain times that you will check your email or your uh, social media. Uh, one other thing is when you are researching something, start with a research question why i'm researching this what type of information that i am searching for it's so easy to type in the google search a keyword or a term and you will get all these um, websites documents and things like that so start by a research question another thing to try to control information overload is to use visual aids to aid you to understand information for example use bullet points use tables use graphs um, try to link uh, information and make some association to make it easier for you to remember one other thing is allowing interruptions so whenever you are focusing on a task and someone comes and interrupts you you need some time to gain that focus again so when you are working on a difficult or important task, don't allow interruptions. Communicate with your colleagues, with everyone in the office that you are working on something important and you need to dedicate some time to that task. Visit our website www.corporata.info to read all the strategies given. I will list the link down below. And don't forget to tell us which of these strategies works for you.